What's going on world? It's your boy Gemini Brown here, back with another episode of Nalo Kicking Knowledge. Today, we'll be taking a look at Neptune in the first house and what it's like to have Neptune in the first house in your astrological chart. So, let's get into it. What is the first house? The first house is also known as the Ascendant and is representative of the physical body and also our instinctual approach towards life. I also like to call it like a secondary sun uh, because in combination with the sun sign you really get the, 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 the best of your abilities or potential. Neptune is the planet of mysticism, spirituality, imagination, confusion. It relates towards Hollywood, um, artistic things like photos, movies, Poetry. Neptune is all of that. In a clearer sense, it is the way we spiritualize our life or representative to some extent of our, our relationship with the divine. So when you have someone with Neptune in the first house, you have someone who has a hard time actually perceiving themselves. And this can play out in lots of different ways. It can play out in the sense where <clears throat> the person just, they just do, don't have a strong sense of I am. And when you examine the aspects towards Neptune, particularly the, the difficult ones, you'll see what the person was struggling with in the past. So if it's a uh, Neptune square Venus, the person struggle to consciously possibly feel like a, a, a individual in their relationships in the past, or they, they feel some type of delusionment towards partnership in general. There's something there that uh, leads to this ideal that the person is trying to meet. So along, so along with that, you'll, you'll find that when you examine the psyche of the Neptune, the first person, they have a way that they feel they should come across. Now, the thing about reality and Neptune is that Neptune is the fantasy, it's, it's what we want, and then the real, the real world is what it is. So you have something within the Neptune first person where they're just not fully satisfied with who they are. And with others, because this, this varies, because Neptune is a very sensitive planet. So if you have Uranus here, which in my time, I've been privileged to read a lot of people who actually have that Neptune Uranus in the first house. And it's, it's something peculiar about their physical appearance, but it isn't necessarily a negative thing. It's up to that individual to embrace that. So if you're out there and you have Uranus sitting with Neptune and you feel like <laughs> you look different than other people, you it would be in your best interest to embrace that. And this is kind of going to lead me to my next point that because you can perceive yourself this is actually good for attraction. Neptune the first has a lot of admirers a lot of admirers you will have secret admirers you have people who openly pursue you but people tend to see the neptune in the first person as some type of ideal all right so let's check this paradox of neptune listen to what i'm saying the neptune in the first person has an ideal of how they want to be seen then they look in the mirror and feel like they don't meet that, so they do things to meet it. Outside of themselves are people, others, seventh house, looking at them like their ideal. That's Neptune for you. Crazy as it sounds. Next thing you want to know about uh, people with Neptune in the first is that they're highly sensitive. This is really like, this, this makes you a... a gives you a strong Pisces influence. You tend to, yeah, get easily offended. Uh, 
just feel like, you know, others are attacking you and things like that. Uh, so the best thing to do with this Neptune in the first is to really become spiritually grounded. What I've also been able to see, and the reason why I've taken so long to do the Neptune, a Neptune series like this. I don't want to digress. I don't want to digress. I'm going to do that in the next video. But yeah, I have to do research, y'all. You all should do research. Don't just read things and believe them. But anyway, you want to become spiritually grounded if you have Neptune in the first. The more spiritually in tune you are, the, the more that directly reflects on your, your physical vessel. All right? So, you know how they say the inner affects the outer? This is seriously uh, important for Neptune in the first. So if you practice meditation, if you're drinking water, even healthy, it's going to immediately show. And your your overall orientation to the world is going to feel easier. You're not going to feel overwhelmed with others' energy or confused about, am I overreacting or whatever? So you have to take care of yourself in some type of spiritual way. Right now, mind you, if you have a ninth house aspect along with this, this it doesn't necessarily have to be spiritual. It could be something where it's like you're you're really into working out or you're really into martial arts. You're living your life by something that is helping your well being and vitality. Okay. To my next point that I was gonna make of research that I've been able to accumulate. People with Neptune in the first and the fourth who live in port cities near bodies of water excel and do very well. They, they, they're the ones who who really get the best out of the 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 Neptune in the first. So, if you're not able to do that, my second suggestion to you is to. Make time for things like swimming, spiritual baths, but make sure you harness and understand the power of water towards your being, okay? Now, I also want to say with this position that when you look at it, a lot of actors have Neptune in the first. A lot of filmmakers, people in the film industry, a lot of models. Because it's, it's an alluring position. And more times than not, if your Venus is, if your Neptune is connected to Venus in some type of way, you naturally get pulled into that field. Because like I said, others are seeing you in that imaginative, ideal way. Okay? So you really should, if you have other supporting factors um, for creativity, you should really per pursue that. That is how you... First house planets are their their they're your armor. Like you can't hide that shit. So you best the you best like understand the nature of the energy and, and how to use it to your advantage. I'll give this example for myself. I'm a first house moon. Even on even if I'm having a bad day, there's somebody out there who's going to interact with me because they can't, they don't, they won't necessarily see. I just look inviting. So they're like, hey, you all right? Or even if, if I'm doing a good job of having a poker face, they'll just talk to me because it's the moon. It's like, hey, you know, come here. So if you have Neptune in the first and you cultivate that confidence and you start to understand what it means for you and how people treat you and what type of reaction it turns into a, a gift all right but you gotta use that imagination you gotta use it you gotta cultivate that creativity you gotta you gotta play towards neptune you can't try to make neptune play towards the other things all right anything else for neptune in the first um i guess i would say for Neptune in the first, oh yeah, I'll say this, going more with the, the Aries part, first I'll say, um, look into your sun, but another thing with this is to express, to be able to express your will 
not necessarily from a place of ego, but just from a natural orientation. Um, like doing what needs to be done in a multitude of situations, but it's about the, the expressing and the channeling of the will and not wanting or having a desire to do something and being sidetracked from it. So I would say be more goal oriented. Direction, Neptune in the first needs constant direction of where they're going and what they're working towards. Oh, I almost forgot. The thing with the substances, so, <laughs> You're a Neptunian person with Neptune in the first. So you're going to indulge. And, you know, it's like, regardless if you have harsh aspects or positive aspects, it's going to affect your physical body. Like, like you're, you're, you're an indulgent person. So, yeah, it's almost like, I want to say, like, you're naturally inclined towards having an addictive personality. But basically... That's really it. Um, so, yeah, I would say not to use substances but or just really be balanced about it. But you'll see. All right, y'all. So, this is my interpretation of Neptune in the first. I hope you guys enjoyed. Feel free to chime in. Let me know what you think. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, feel free to do so now. If you need a reading, click the link in the description. Send me an email and we'll set something up. Till next time. Peace.